what's going on everyone aaron here clean cuts lawn care uh, it's monday morning we just finished our um our lawns yesterday it was a, last week was a real rough week um let me see we got rained out one day like halfway through the day um the storm was so bad we couldn't cut for the next half of the day um because it, everything was just so soaking wet puddles of you know rain water um in most of the backyards so we lost a lot of time last week and um vicky had to take friday off of work to work here we got 14 done that day saturday was all of our big yards uh we got 12 done that day and we wrapped them up yesterday so i'm heading to do one small job right now which is trimming four small shrubs but also i got to cut that grass um i figured since i had to do the shrubs today anyway i would just cut that lawn today too then we're going to come back here um we have new blades from ballard for the 36 and the 52 they're both um they're both mulching blades so we're going to switch that out I put, uh, well, I made um, <clears throat> a shoot blocker for the 36. It's, I tested it out yesterday, it's working, but this has the high lift blades still on it. So uh, we'll put the mulching blades on, see how that goes. I'm gonna try to make a shoot blocker for the 52, but also it has those rust holes in the front and um, man it just you know i'm getting grass through there all the time so i have like a uh probably foot and a half by foot and a half uh sheet of metal i'm gonna try to cut that out and put it on the inside of the mower and i'm just gonna see if i can block those holes off also the original 30 inch our original one the bottom of it is clogging real bad so i need to scrape that clean it really good and repaint it with a high gloss paint so i didn't get to go get the paint yet but hopefully i'll be able to grab it today and um you know do that project along with the rest of this stuff because it's right back to mowing tomorrow so Let's go do this little job. All right, these are the four shrubs. I already did these three. I gotta finish this one here.
missing something back there. That's not part of it. needs to cut out just a little bit in a few spots um, this is a new one for us uh, well the second service but a few spots that they didn't cut the edging out far enough like right over here so and um, when we do our first cuts you know we charge extra for that but um, we haven't really talked about it yet because I mean it's pretty good in most of the spots so I'll probably just cut it out and um you know won't won't take too long anyway so we'll just take care of it for him but the shrubs are trimmed everything's cleaned up i told him if he wants uh bed maintenance uh we can line that up for him and that's the cut with the 36 using uh that shoe blocker i made made it from a um a freight liner mud flap that I found in the street. I, ha I was gonna literally go get harder hardened rubber and we found that in the street. So, all right, we're out of here. All right, these are the new mulching blades I got from Ballard. I like how their blades say Ballard on them right there. They're pretty cool. Um, I got a set for the 36 and a set for the 52. They're the same exact uh, blade, same size, same everything. So. I got a two pack for the 36, a three pack for the 52. These are the high lift blades that came on the 36. Still in good condition. I keep them sharp. Those would be good for fall cleanups. Um, I do have a bagger for the 36, which is right there, but it's kind of tore up. Um, I'm, looking, I'm looking for a bagger that would fit the 52 and the 36 if not a universal but universal meaning both of those i don't know if they have them um, if that's possible but man that would be great uh, especially for fall cleanups you know so all right i gotta put these blades on um i bought a new grease gun my grease gun has been acting up it's not wanting to pressurize the grease so i bought this pistol grip grease gun wasted a whole tube of grease a whole tube of grease brand new uh because my old grease gun just wasn't pressurizing i released the air from it it was a mess so 
I'm gonna get everything greased, new blades, and I gotta try to build a um a shoot blocker for this. And I'm supposed to repaint the bottom of the 30, but I didn't bring uh soapy water with me because I want to clean it really good and so that'll be dead last if i get a chance to do it today this is what i want to try to build the shoot blocker with for the 52 or if i don't build it with this and i just build it from um that mud flap there that i did for the 36 then i'll use this to try to block off these rust holes here so yeah it has the rust holes i've shown it before I got a few magnets on it right now, but it needs something better. So I'm going to try to use the, some of that um, aluminum, I think it's aluminum, on the inside of it and kind of bolt it up uh, to block them holes off. And hopefully it'll work. So we'll see. All right, so we got a broken grease fitting here. Hopefully I have the uh, right size to fix it. Okay, let's go to our spares. See what we got. Looks like it's this one. Ah, come back. Come back. Oh my god, these phone calls. Not even answering it. Got too much to do. Yep, it's this one. Good deal. Get this squared away. The rest of the machine is greased up. I actually need a new box of, um, not a new box but a different variety well yeah different variety of um grease fittings sometimes you know you replace them and you just don't have the right size it's the way it goes okay yeah Everything is greased. Got to put the blades on now. All right, the new blades are on the 36. I'm gonna go ahead and close off the cover. Said everything is greased. Ready to go for tomorrow. And um, now I'm gonna start working on the 52. Not that we're using it tomorrow, but I want to get everything done today. That way we're, I can just fly through this week. Wednesday I have, uh, me and Vicky both have our doctor's appointment. So I got to leave work at probably um, three o'clock. By the time it's all over, uh, there'll be no coming back to work for the day. So, you know, I, I, I got to have everything ready. I just want to start tomorrow early. We're going to work late. Wednesday, I'm going to start early. Going to work till about 3. Thursday is going to be early late. Friday, early late. Hopefully, we're wrapping up the week by then. I'm going to put a few more air holes in this. Kind of hard to get it going. There we go. I want to make sure it's getting the right amount of airflow in there. I, to be honest, I don't know how many I need, but 
I'm just, I want to make sure it's getting enough. That's for damn sure. And obviously these holes are going to clog, you know, as it's being used. So, a couple down here. That should be good. Okay. Like I said, I just want to make sure it's definitely getting enough. That looks like enough. Alright. Put it back on. How do I have it? Like this. Now what I would like to do... Is I'd like to have this side really closed off but um I don't want to drill through the deck on this one so I gotta figure out how I can close that off better I wonder if I can scoot it back I know that won't hold it let me see here It might help actually move this to the middle I can get another one for right here it might help we'll try that out because what's happening is I'm getting a little grass coming out of the side and up and that's what's covering right here and you know over here so um, I'll get another one of these today that might help you know I'm not perfect but what is you know only name here on YouTube does anything perfect. So, let's move on. All right, these blades, I scraped them. I just sharpened them not too long ago, so we're just gonna touch them up. If you're using an angle grinder, really anyway, make sure you're wearing glasses. Anything can happen. So we're just gonna touch them up. I gotta balance them still. I'm gonna have to, I know that one's gonna have to be uh, touched up on the balance. Let me go get my balancer. All right, this is the balancer I use. Uh, you can get it pretty much anywhere, Amazon, um, where I get this one, Menards. The floor right here is level, side to side. So that's why I put it here. Uh, yeah, it's on a tarp, but no big deal. I know a lot of guys put a nail on the wall, but I've noticed that uh, using the nail you can kind of manipulate that nail and not get a balanced blade so I don't like doing that I like using uh, this tool okay seem to be balanced side to side there let me see right before I took it it looked a little hmm oh, I think it's pretty good
Yeah, we're good. I thought I'd, you know what? Might need to take a little bit off of the, let's see here. Yeah, it's kind of sloping a little bit. Need to take a little bit off right here. Little slope on it. Not much, but a little bit. perfect all right so we're gonna put these away because we got the mulching blades on let me see here i think i'm gonna start stacking my blades right here that way i know where they're at all right i'm gonna get the 52 out i'm gonna start working on it all right so these holes were here from a previous failed attempt at a shoot blocker. I got the um, I got the rubber cut out for it. I haven't drilled any um, air holes in it yet. I want to see if I can get it on here and bent in position, and then I'll add the air holes. So let's see what happens. All right, th with this material, that's going to be the best I'm able to do. Uh, we're going to call it a semi shoot. It's going to semi-block it and semi-not. But um, I'm actually going to put that um, that bungee around here and seal, uh, tighten it up there and it'll help it even more. But I looked up as I'm working on my mower, I looked down here and I see my baby pulling in. And she brought me something to drink. So that was a nice surprise while I'm here working for my baby to bring me something to drink. So, I uh, still got to put the blades on and grease it, and that's going to be it for today. I'm not going to go get the paint for the 30. Um, that's just going to have to be another day. I, uh, we just, like I said, we just finished a huge week. This weekend, we're working because we have a landscape job to do, and hopefully the mowing is done. If not, it'll be another, another long week. I don't know. All right, everything got done. The 52 got its new blades. It got greased. I checked everything um, in the shop, just making sure we're good to go this week. I opened my tailgate for something. I don't remember what I was opening it up for. And the bracket that holds the door in on this side broke. So let me show you. It's hard, I'm holding the camera, but you can already see it right there look at that it's rusted so it broke right there's a little pivot point so it's still holding on i mean it's on this side is still holding but the problem is now that has more pressure on it so hopefully you know it just i can use it the way it is uh problem is you know like for snow removal i'm putting my snow blower in here if i just put the 30 in here when i go to the dump i need to lower this to dump things like that but i mean can't let nothing stop the party if it came down to it i would rip this door off um put some wood up something i'd figure something out to where i could just keep on rolling um what can you do you know i could get some wood maybe make a makeshift door something i don't know but i'm out of here for the day i got everything done except the 30 inch which i'll do another day but what are you gonna do i, I gotta um be ready to get a jump on tomorrow it's just gonna be a long week a hard week i think i gotta stop and do an estimate on my way home i just heard the voicemail i didn't get a whole lot of information other than where it's at so if you liked the video, hit like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, let me know everything I'm doing wrong, and keep the edges clean, boys. I'm out.